with OpenRose Designer Connect Edition 2020 Update 3, we now have the ability to assign feature definitions to geometry alignments and points at import. Within my OpenRose modeling workflow, I'm going to navigate to my geometry category and select import. For this demonstration, I will import an AOG file. You will immediately notice two new options with Geometry Import. The option to assign feature definition from table and assign feature definition. I will begin by selecting my baseline alignment and profile to import. I'm also going to select right away points to import. The first demonstration will be using the feature definition from table. So I'm going to clear assign from feature definition and navigate to your desired feature definition table. Let's take a quick look at that table. The feature definition table has two tabs. The name of these tabs are inconsequential, but I'll discuss later. The first tab is applicable to the alignment, mapping the alignment style to the feature definition. And the second tab is applicable to points, mapping the point style to feature definition. I'm going to select import. My alignment has been imported with the assigned feature definition and my profile. And note, my profile also has the assigned feature definition. I want to fit my view here. And next, I will select the drive alignment and pole points. So once again, I'm going to select import, navigate to my alignment. I'm going to clear my baseline and select my drive. And again, I do want to import my profile as well. I'm going to clear my right away. And this time I want to bring in my poles. I'm going to clear my assigned feature definition from table because I want to assign my feature definition. I currently have my desired feature definition selected. However, if you want to change those, of course, just navigate to your desired feature definition. I also have my desired pole feature definition selected. So I'm going to select import. Note my note my drive has been imported with the assigned feature definition along with my points. My driveway and of course my profile has been brought in as well. Let's take a look at one other example. I'm going to select import once again, my alignment file, and open. This time I'm going to take a look at my ramp. So let's clear the driveway. I'm going to clear my points. And for this example, I'm going to select both my assigned feature definition from table and assigned feature definition. When both options are selected, the table takes precedence. If feature definitions are not located in the table, they will be taken from the feature definitions. I'm simply going to select, let's go ahead and change our feature definition to ramp and import. My ramp has now been imported. Let's take a closer look at the table. 
just as the names on our tabs are inconsequential, so is the first line of each sheet. The program ignores the first line, but this heading does provide clarity relating styles to feature definitions. What is most important is that the first tab represent alignments and the second tab represent points. Although my tabs are named alignment and points, by default, those are going to be named sheet. 